Hey guys, here again with a demonstration of the Robot Geek Snapper Arm. Uh, we're going to do a quick code demo on interpolation basics. So, generally speaking, when you write positions to servos using the default Arduino library, uh, it is simply going to move those servos as quickly as it can to their desired positions. Um, that's great for some people. Uh, when you get in more complex assemblies like the arm here, you don't actually want to be moving at full speed because you're going to end up with a lot of jerky motions. We're using a uh, Servo X library, which is an expanded Arduino library that actually allows for interpolation calls. Um, it's demonstrated in the code how this is done, but essentially what you do is you start a group move, you queue up what positions you want all of your servos to move into, and then commit it with an interpolation time. And that interpolation time is how much time it's going to take to move from its current position to its goal position. So what you end up with is variable movement of all of your servos over the course of their uh, positional movement. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and just show you a quick demo of what this means. As you can see, the servos are obviously not moving at full speed here. I have them slowed down considerably. Um, the code example that we have up is a little bit simplified. There's actually ways to call the function and wait for it to complete a movement uh, before it takes another command. Um, for simplicity's sake, what I did is I tied in a little delay after each group move, and that delay is equal to the amount of time that the interpolation call is giving, so it will not move. Uh, on to the next command until it's elapsed that amount of time. Um, all of the code demo uh, will be available for download in the links along with the project that's uh, attached to this. Hope you learned something. Have a great day.